Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing that face reveal from Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 2 and what my thoughts are regarding this entire subject and character. Now, with that being said, there is your official spoiler warning. Spoilers are ahead for Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 2. You have been warned. So, in Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 2, we see Mr. Mr. Pale back again, returning from older Ninjago seasons, we kind of suspected that he was going to come back, and I'm glad it wasn't just a background cameo like the case with other characters. He actually has speaking lines. Now, of course, because Mr. Pale was previously played by Kirby Morrow, he has been recast, and the new voice actor is Ian Hanlon, of course returning from voicing Acronix back during Ninjago Hands of Time, and most recently voicing Cinder. And I gotta say, I thought this was a pretty good choice. It sounds very similar, but also I can tell that they are trying to do something different. I think it works overall, but anyway, the face reveal. In Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 2, during a matchup against Lloyd, Mr. Pale loses, and of course he loses his elemental power of light to Lloyd, revealing his face for the first time. Now, unfortunately, because I cannot show anything new from Part 2 in the videos just yet, I will link an image down below below in the description. Check it out if you feel so inclined. And he looks interesting, I gotta say. Of course, they do make a joke about his facial hair being a little messed up because naturally he cannot shave when he's invisible. He's also not able to turn the invisibility off, so I thought that was interesting. I guess as soon as Lightmasters unlock their full potential, they are stuck like that at least until their powers are drained somehow. Which also begs the question, what exactly happened during season four when Master Chen stole everybody's elemental powers? Mr. Pale did not become visible then, so why is it happening here? Could just be a case of, well, the season four writers just did not think of that, or maybe Mr. Pale was not human, maybe he was some kind of invisible species, but I feel like this explanation here in part two of Dragon's Rising season two makes a lot more sense. This character has been around for almost a decade now. It's awesome to finally see his face. And as a longtime fan of Ninjago and season four, I thought this moment was pretty special. So like I said, link down below in the description. Check it out if you want. And thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.